The High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or simply HIMARS, is a rocket launcher that holds six missiles. The launcher swivels quickly left and right and up and down to aim at a target. HIMARS was designed for operational use and rapid redeployment from the launch site. The weapon fires a long-range precision-guided missile at a fast pace. It quickly loads two-ton six-rail launch packs, replacing used packs in just minutes. Once the rockets have been fired, the launcher quickly leaves the launch site before the enemy can react. High Mars is designed to fit inside a small C-130 cargo plane that can land on roads, dirt or snow, making it possible to deliver the weapon system almost anywhere in the world. To load High Mars on the plane, its side mirrors must be folded and tires deflated to make the weapon fit. HIMARS is connected to and operated by the Universal Fire Control System, UFCS, which in its turn is connected to a designated military information network. The multiple electronic units that make up the fire control system are installed in various hardware compartments on the sides of the launcher. Among these electronic units are the HIMARS Universal Launch Interface Unit, the Universal Gunner's Display Unit, the Universal Weapons Interface Unit, the Universal Positioning Navigation Unit, and several others. One of the main components of the fire control system is the HIMARS Universal Launch Interface Unit. The unit systemizes and analyzes data from the entire fire control system and also receives data via external communication channels. Such channels include airborne radio stations, satellite communication systems, and Link 16 system. Temperature sensors, pressure sensors of hydraulic systems, and tilt sensors are all connected to this unit. These capabilities make the launch interface unit a central part of the entire HIMARS fire control system. Another key part of HIMARS is its Universal Gunner's Display Unit, which carries out the weapon control application. It is an automated workstation. The main operations are performed by programmable remote buttons, or hotkeys. There are eight hotkeys at the bottom and four additional keys on each side of the display. The keyboard is used to enter letters and numbers which make up unformalized alphanumeric information. Hastings, 68925. The Universal Weapons Interface Unit sends control signals to the rocket module and launches the rocket. It programs the flight tasks through application of ballistic guidance algorithms, GPS information, and software updates for the missiles. Two cables from the weapon interface unit are connected to the bottom of the rocket pack during installation. The cables transfer signals between the missiles and the fire control system. The first cable transfers status signals from the rockets. These may indicate ready, malfunction, exit, as well as temperature coordinates and other variable characteristics and data. The second cable carries signals to the package and provides ground power for the missiles. The second cable coordinates the navigation systems, loads flight tasks, 
and verifies and corrects coordinates of each missile relative to the coordinates of the GPS installed on the package with missiles. When larger missiles such as ATACMS type are loaded onto HIMARS, a total of four cables is connected from the weapons interface unit. The ATACMS has a different control system on its board, with more data that needs to be transferred between the weapons interface unit and the missiles. Universal Positioning Navigation Unit provides navigation for the HIMARS complex with the help of a GPS, inertial navigation, and odometer. HIMARS uses three main communication systems – VHF FM radio, shortwave HF radio for greater range, and a digital situational awareness system. However, the communication systems may be adapted to the geographical region the HIMARS is deployed at. As such, the American systems would differ from radio station used by the Ukrainian troops, for example. Safety is paramount during operation and launch of HIMARS. To prevent poisonous emissions of hot gases mixed with combustion products and fragments of solid fuel from adversely affecting the launcher, the crew is protected by special blinds on the windows and the filter ventilation unit with chemical air filtration system. After each launched burst, the combustion products and spent fuel fragments are removed from the launcher. During replacement and installation of a missile pack, it is critical that the crew members check for short circuits or stray voltage in the cables before attaching them to the missiles. The soldiers do so by pressing the Short Circuit No Voltage Test, or SNVT button, on the weapons interface unit. This test ensures the missiles are not accidentally fired due to stray voltage in the cables. Unfortunately, such accidents have happened in the past and resulted in multiple fatalities and serious injuries. And a bit of history. HIMARS is a descendant of the older MLRS which was developed in 1980 and is still in use. The MLRS is a double-width tracked launcher that holds two packs of six missiles. The MLRS saw extensive use in the Gulf War in 1991, firing thousands of cluster rockets. One key difference between HIMARS and MLRS is the wheel chassis instead of tracks. 